Hi everyone, welcome back to the card table. Before we begin this trick, I'd like to pass on two tips of uh, information for you. Tip number one, if you're performing and you flash at any point, at any time, and it is seen by the spectator, you have failed. It's over. Finished. Game over. Okay? Uh, tip number two, I know from experience that performing for people, they're not always willing to give you 100% of their attention and watch you perform. This is because you're a nobody. You're just some guy with a pack of cards. In other words, you have no status. You have to give them a reason for them to invest some of their time in watching you perform. So performing a quick snappy opening effect uh, is a very good way to earn their attention. And uh, this is an opening effect of mine that's uh, a good trick for this purpose. It's uh, loosely based on regal aces and uh, other ideas and this is how it goes. I'm going to ask Mrs. Field to touch a card and uh, she seems to like uh, this card here so I'll let you guys memorize that and to make it easy for you to keep track of it I'll leave it sticking out about halfway down in the deck and that's important because in a moment that card is going to jump to the top now at the moment it's not here that's because I didn't give the cards a flick and a magic snap and it instantly jumps to the top of the Oh, I do apologise, that, that's not right, that's a joker. I'm sorry about that. I thought I took all the jokers out before I began. <laughs> well, uh, let's see if we can uh, find Mrs Fields' card again, second time round. I'll use my ma Magician's Intuition, and I think it's about halfway down in the deck, 26, 27 cards. A little magic lucky rub gives us Mrs Fields another joker. I do apologise for that. I'm not doing very well, am I? Uh, maybe Mrs Field can find her own card. So what I'll do is I'll run my thumb down the edge of the pack and when she wants, she can say stop any time that she likes. Stop. Well, third time's the charm and we get another joker. Oh dear, well perhaps third time isn't the charm. You know, it's strange, but every time I cut and shuffle these cards, I seem to be arriving at a joker. I mean, this is crazy because I distinctly remember taking out all the jokers from the deck before the trick even began. Well, never mind, if the Jokers are going to insist on popping up like this, maybe they can help us and give us some information about Mrs. Field's card. Uh, the first Joker can tell us the colour of her card, so obviously it's a black card. The next one tells us the suit, it's a club. The next one tells us it's a value, it's a queen. The last one tells us it's the queen of clubs. Phew! Oh, wait a minute, you can't get four cards the same, can you? So maybe I should do a card trick with the four aces. Thanks everyone, see you next time at the card table.